Rem and Emilia return for this ReZero Memory Snow special. So what's up guys, Foxen here. The latest ReZero OVA special just came out here in Japan. Unfortunately, no ReZero Season 2 just yet. So, was there enough of Best Girl Rem? Was Emilia shoved to the side again? Just how much did Subano piss off Rem? And what was the witch cult up to now? So, let's go ahead and get started with my thoughts on it. Keep in mind, I will have a spoiler talk at the very end. Although honestly, what can I really spoil? I'm sure that I could tell you everything and you'd forget half of it by tonight. All of it by next week. Anyway, to start this off, I gotta bring up that first Razor OVA trailer. Okay, so you know how it shows Tsubeto freaking out? Then it leads up to Tsubeto taking up the charge with them heading into the kitchen with Ram and Ram. Some of you came up with theories on which side story they'd be adapting based on this. Turns out, all these scenes in the trailer, none of them are in the actual Rezo special. This was a complete shocker, especially when you consider that this thing is over an hour long. I do gotta appreciate the effort that the White Fox Studio put into ReZero for this announcement alone. As for what the actual story is for this ReZero special, it's pretty much your favorite kitty Puck causing winter at the mansion area. Then Subaru, Emilia, and Rem have to deal with it. It's really as simple as that. So, getting into light story intro stuff, I mentioned about the great fluffy Puck bringing out winter. The reason is that he's built up mana reserves. You actually see Emilia trying to hide Puck in her room. It is literally Antarctica up in there. Emilia goes on to explain that she's not affected by Puck's snow powers due to their contract. Unfortunately, the rest of the house doesn't have the same advantage. Subaru in particular is freezing his ass off. And Ram fans should enjoy this since the pink haired girl is all balled up in blankets. Rem is actually fortunate enough to be connected with the ice element. So Rem isn't suffering in this code, unlike her sister. This is actually why you see Ram with the earmuffs in one of the visuals. Also, do notice Ram and Ram's outfit. This is the updated winter maid clothing they use, which is pretty similar to what you're familiar with. Only the top half is now covered. For Subaru, this guy only gains that orange scarf. And Amelia does get one of the new outfits seen in the ReZero visual. Subaru and friends then pass a surprise winter time by throwing a snow festival together and then a party afterwards. Details about this stuff in the spoiler talk. Definitely post down below if you have any questions. As for Subaru here, you get the same old goofy Subaru from before. You get more than a few moments of Subaru acting super awkward, then Emilia supposedly not getting any of it. Unsurprisingly, Subaru is the one that gets the most screen time. I've actually seen some hate for Subaru and his behavior from Rui Zero. If you're gonna be watching this and you don't like Subaru, be prepared to endure a lot of him. As for Emilia and Rem, hopefully you're a fan of both. I would say that you get almost equal screen time for both, but I think Emilia got a tad bit more. Rem fans will definitely enjoy seeing this adorable girl again. In particular, you do get a lot of Rem being super lovey-dovey to Subaru. It's almost to the point of Rem being Subaru's personal cheerleader. To be honest, I was worried that this would potentially get annoying, but thankfully it didn't cross the line for me. For Amelia fans, there's been a lot of complaints about Amelia not being fleshed out enough in Season 1. Thankfully you got a lot of Amelia here. And it's not just this more serious or calm Amelia, like she was in most of ReZero. You get a taste of super excited and high energy Amelia too. Personally, I am a fan of both, so getting good chunks of Amelia and Rem was a plus. The next two that got less but similar screen time were Betty and Ram. Same old Betty returns from season 1. Her I suppose attitude is still intact. For Ram, you surprisingly get a couple of scenes showing off signs you didn't get to see in the anime. I almost felt bad for Ram in some parts too. It was fun to watch. Then the rest of the mansion, Puck and Roswell. They were there but only in small bits, only shown briefly. Keep in mind that ReZero Memory Snow takes place after that whole demon dog attack arc, but before the whole royal selection at the capital. That being said, you really shouldn't watch this until you finish the whole series. Sprinkled throughout this ReZero special are hints for future events. You briefly do get to see some of the key players and what they're doing for the upcoming arc. This includes the Witch Cult and Beetlejuice. As for the animation for this ReZero special, you know that SAO Elicization also recently had his world premiere in theaters. However, if you're going to be showing this on the big screen, you need to bring your A game. Lazy animation heavily stands out on the bigger screen. So, how was ReZero Memory Snow? The animation was not bad, but also not anything too special. I can't really say there was one memorable scene where the animation was taken to the next level. Even the one action scene in this was pretty tame. The most notable thing was Subaru recalling his battle with the demon beast. This was super stylized from Subaru's point of view to show him in a better light. This whole ReZero special honestly looked very similar to the ReZero Blu-ray edition for ReZero Season 1, which is not a bad thing. The White Fox Studio really outdid themselves for the first ReZero season. That being said, 
I did notice a couple of distant character shots that stood out looking slightly lower quality. I would bet on them fixing some of these for the Blu-ray release. By the way, the intro for this ReZero special had the small version of the ReZero characters, telling you about the theater rules to follow. Each of the characters went over things you shouldn't do. Subaru explained no phones. Rem said no weapons, even though she had the Morning Star on her. And Puck said no fires. As for some of the ReZero collabs going on right now, right now they're doing a couple in two different locations. These cafes and promotions offer ReZero themed food and drinks featuring each character. I did happen to go to the Cure Made one for the ReZero promotion. On the menu, they had a couple of things. Definitely take a guess on which I got. For food, there was Emilio's blue pasta or Rem's chicken mayo. For desserts, two items, Rem and Rem's sweet plate, and Emilio's dream date parfait. And then a bunch of drinks. We had Subaru, Emilia, Puck, Rem, Ram, and even Betty. Sorry, nothing for the mansion clown. There were even two special drinks, one featuring the Rem theme cup, which you could buy. As for my lunch, I ended up trying Rem's mayo chicken, the twins' sweet plate, and the Rem drink. Hmm, wonder who I like. The mayo chicken was good, but didn't taste anything like that white cream from the States. Then, the sweets place had two items. The Rem white one was more of this cheesecake type of cake, and the other one was like a brownie. And finally, for Rem's drink, that tasted like the color blue, although nothing too sweet. It wasn't like one of those mystery off-brand color drinks you often see at your supermarket. The total cost for this stuff ended up being $27. Definitely pretty pricey. Although standard prices for these made places. The only thing missing were the maids wearing pink or blue wigs. Anyway, overall, was this Rezo special worth the $18 ticket price and trip to Japan? To help answer that, I'll let you know where I stand on ReZero. Gotta say, I loved the ReZero anime. It's been one of those anime series for me that I rewatched plenty of times. Just like for SAO and Konosuba, it got me so interested that I ended up reading ahead with the ReZero light novels. Although for reasons I won't get into here, reading some of the later stuff past the anime did decrease my interest in ReZero. For this special, if you're a huge fan, you'll definitely enjoy this ReZero Memory Snow special. It was totally worth checking out in theaters, although I really don't feel any urgency to watch this again in theaters. It was pretty enjoyable seeing Subaru, Rem, and Emilia in this more relaxed state. There's no colossal white whale about to eat them, and the witch cult isn't trying to kill them off. This really felt like something that would be perfect for you to watch for Christmas. It was super cozy, I almost fell asleep, and not at all due to it being boring. Totally worth the price for hardcore ReZero fans. Now, if you're a more casual ReZero fan, I'm thinking some people like my roommates, you may not enjoy this as much. For example, if they had a limited theater showing in the US, and my roommates drove an hour plus to see this, I could see them not thinking it was worth the cost. Either way, definitely watch this when it comes out on Blu-ray. Who knows, perhaps Crunchyroll is going to stream it. Anyway, before getting into the spoiler talk, just know that a second ReZero special has been announced for 2019. The second special will focus on how Emilia met Puck and go into the details about their contract. This one actually sounds even more interesting. Emilia and Puck's history will be super important for ReZero Season 2. You could almost guarantee there will be a ReZero Season 2 announcement with that. Bet you $5 on that. I would also imagine that's going to get released in theaters. Unfortunately, since it's coming in 2019, ReZero Season 2 may not get released until 2020, but we'll see. Alright, spoiler talk time. Like I mentioned, really nothing to spoil. I don't consider any of this stuff huge spoilers. It's really all light stuff. Let me actually first talk about the snow festival. So it's actually Subaru's idea to hold this festival, combined with the snow figure building competition. They organized it so all the town's folks could join in. Subaru and Roswell serve as the judges. Betty didn't want anything to do with it, but eventually joins in. For the competition, Emilia ends up making a deformed puck. Naturally, Ram and Ram were on the same team. Since they knew about the judges, Ram's clever idea was to make a snow version of both Subaru and Roswell combined. The worst part was that mixture of the face of theirs. An angry Roswell gave it a 4 out of 10 points. Out of the whole competition, Petro ended up winning. The prize was one of Subaru's potato chip bags. Although I thought he got rid of all of them. As for the certain Isekai cameo I mentioned, surprise, Konosuba's lovable idiots make a return. During this, Subaru was thinking about the Snow Samurai story. There, it showed Kazuma, Megumin, Aqua, and Darkness about to face it. Freaking love this. As for Rem and her infamous Mayo, there's been a lot of hype about Rem making Subaru a bunch of Mayo. And she did, kind of. Recall the mansion bath area? Rem freaking filled the whole bathtub with Mayo just for Subaru. This, by the way, ended up getting frozen entirely when Puck's magic got stronger. Rem's whole explanation about this Mayo thing was super hilarious. Now for something worth the ticket price alone. After the whole snow festival, there was a winter after party. 
At this event, Emilia and Rem got super wasted. Yeah, you get to see drunk Emilia and drunk Rem. Rem only kept on drunkenly saying Subaru over and over again. Emilia, on the other hand, admitted to thinking Subaru was always 12 or 13 years old. She totally sees him as a little kid. Oh, and they weren't the only ones drinking. Don't ever challenge Ram to a drinking contest. Ram actually drank a bunch of wine bottles and still kept on going. Same for Roswell. Even Puck ended up pouring some sake in a bowl and got inside of it. I'm not too sure why. Either way, the magic cat was drinking too. The only ones that weren't drinking were Subaru and Betty. And I do have to mention, during Emilia's whole drink adventure, she was eating some cookies or chips. Some of the crumbs from this actually fell into her open chest area. And yeah, they did focus a good while on Emilia's cleavage. At one point, the drunk Ram and Emilia hugged Subaru. Then both of them quickly fell asleep on his lamp. Of course, the dumbass Subaru couldn't take it and got off the floor. This led into Rem resting on Emilia's chest, both asleep. This scene was more cute compared to the Emilia Bubich focus from earlier. As for something notable during this ReZero special for Puck, there was actually a quick flashback of Puck fighting against Roswell. This is that battle scene I mentioned earlier. Puck was fighting in his base cat form. He kept on launching ice spikes at Roswell above this forest area. It ended with Puck summoning this giant ice ball. Roswell then countered by doing this Kamehameha Dragon Ball magic move. They just freaking nuked the whole area. Rest in peace to anyone that was in that forest. And now for the ending. At the start of this, Subaru wanted to go on a date with Emilia, but then got cock blocked by Puck's winter storm. Finally, at the very end, Subaru was actually able to go on the promised date with Emilia. The special ends with both of them heading towards the village. So, hope you enjoyed this, but more important, let me hear from you now. Question of the day. How hyped are you for this ReZero Memory Snow special? Does it sound like it's worth the $20? Anyway, definitely give a rem size thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I put out 5 plus anime videos here every week. Definitely don't miss my in-depth video going over SAO Season 3 Elizization. Top quality animation right there. Also, Attack on Titan Season 3 is back this week, so don't miss my video on that. So hit bell notifications and I'll see you guys later.